students welcome again in my channel ultrasound whispers today we are going to discuss a very important uh, phenomena in ultrasound physics that is pulse echo effect or pulse echo technique our lecture is pulse what is pulse what is echo pulse echo techniques and what are scan lines so pulse echo technique is the basis of ultrasound imaging and uh, it is very important to understand this concept in order to interpret ultrasound image so let's start with this uh, phenomena that uh, if you strike a tennis ball to a hard object like wall it uh, it will strike uh, and it will bounce back similarly in uh, if you are uh, in front of a high mountain and uh, you uh, call your the name of your friends loudly and after some time moment you will uh, hear your own sound uh, in the form of reflection and uh, this is called echo similarly in ultrasound imaging we send pulses and we receive echoes because when pulses go inside the body they are they they are bounced back from uh, from the internal organs from the boundaries of the internal organs and we receive echoes and these echo makes ultrasound uh, image so let's talk about how this ultrasound image is formed so for uh, suppose we have an ultrasound transducer over here and we have only one crystal when an electric current is applied to this crystal it vibrates when it vibrates it produces a pulse pulse of two cycle or three cycle and when this pulse enters into the body and it and it bounces back when it strikes the boundary of a soft tissue now this pulse is called echo it's no more a pulse it's echo because it it came after reflection and this echo is received by the same uh, crystal piezoelectric crystal and that convert this pulse into the into a dot on the monitor of the machine suppose we have our ultrasound machine over here and this pulse goes and make a dot and this bright dot is a sequelar result of pulse and its reflection so this is called pulse echo technique that uh, result in the formation of a bright dot so there is a question that uh, do you think that uh, there is a difference between this pulse and this echo yes there is there is definite a uh, difference between this pulse and this pulse what is the difference if you take the height of this pulse from zero line and this echo you will find that it's a bigger pulse why it's bigger pulse because 
its amplitude is high and amplitude is the the distance of the distance between the highest uh, uh, point of the curve to the zero line so amplitude mean loudness of the sound means intensity of the sound and height of the sound and why uh, so it means that uh, the amplitude of the echo is uh, less than the amplitude of the pulse so it's a uh, weaker than pulse why did it become weak who did it make who made it weak the culprit is here the medium that is a soft tissue if you recall from the previous lectures that when a sound waves enter into a, a medium it changes its pressure it changes its density it makes its particles move back and forth and all these three changes are called acoustic variable so in retaliation to these changes soft tissue talks to the ultrasound waves oh sound waves you have changed my pressure you have changed my density you made my particles move back and forth so what will i do i will decrease your amplitude and decreasing of amplitude mean decreasing of loudness decreasing of intensity and decreasing of height so so far we discussed uh, only one crystal one pulse and uh, one dot produced by by echo when this crystal produces pulse it becomes silent and wait for the wait for its reflection that is echo when it is emitting a pulse it is called talking phase or emitting phase and when it is silent or receiving echo it is called receiving mode or listening mode so this process keeps on going and when it receives echo it produces the second pulse then it produces third pulse and we receives echo in the form of dots on the monitor so this process keeps on going and million of pulses are emitted and millions of echoes are received and they make millions of bright dot vertical dots on the monitor so this was only one crystal now what happens that the second crystal fires its pulses millions of pulses and millions of echoes and millions of bright dot on the monitor 
and then third third piezoelectric crystal repeat the same process then fourth and fifth and there is array of piezoelectric elements piezoelectric crystals and this process is repeated again and again pulse echo pulse echo and we keep on receiving bright dots in the form of vertical lines these vertical lines are called scan lines and these scan lines collectively make an ultrasound image and that ultrasound image is called grayscale ultrasound image and the brightness of the dot depends upon the strength of the echo if echoes are very weak we have a control on our machine that is called gain and that increase the amplitude of echo like this and we can see these uh, bright dots better. And this phenomena is also called B mode or brightness mode. So uh, image, ultrasound image is made up of scan lines. And how do, how do, how, how these scan lines are formed? These are result of pulse echo technique or pulse echo effect so let's move further i hope now you got it's very simple that ultrasound uh, <clears throat> transducer send pulses and these pulses return to that ultrasound transducer in the form of uh, echoes and these echoes make a uh, bright dot and we got series of uh, vertical dots and series of vertical lines that are called scan lines and these scan lines make ultrasound image and uh, it is all possible only because of pulse echo effect so in this image if you see again this is our transducer and here is array of transducer and if you see that all these crystals are arranged in a straight line so such in such a transducer in which the crystals are arranged in a straight lines are called linear transducers linear mean line and if these elements are arranged in the form of a curvilinear line like a curve Such transduc transducer are called curvilinear linear transducer or convex transducer. We shall discuss uh, in detail when we will touch transducers. So a linear transducer makes straight vertical lines scan lines and the image is a triangular shape sorry rectangular shape and
when these piezoelectric elements are arranged in the in the form of a curve line then the shape is called is look like this you see the so by seeing at the top of the image you can uh, <clears throat> you can tell that what kind of uh, uh, transducer created that image so this is a curve line definitely this image is produced by a curvilinear curvilinear uh, transducer if it would be like a square then it would be produced by a linear transducer so now we are clear that these piezoelectric elements create scan lines scan lines of dot of various brightnesses and these scan line collectively make an ultrasound image so in this image you can see that ultrasound transducer that emits pulses and these pulses return back in the form of echoes and these echoes go inside the machine and in the monitor they make bright dot vertical dots or scan lines and these scan lines make the image and if you see the image is linear so that probe should be the linear one if the image would be like this then it would be the curvy linear this is all for today students uh, thank you very much for uh, staying with me and uh, next time we shall do some uh, uh, MCQs question to revise and review the chapter. Uh, please keep on repeating uh, uh, the basic concepts and from there we will go towards the advanced ones. Thank you once again.